Full cup. Alright, so this is a beautiful material that I have. Uh, I will not be using any patterns, so I'm going to show you how you could do this. We have patterns, so let's go there. <laughs> okay, so first and first to be to mark the half length. That is the measurement from your shoulder hair to the waist, the natural waist. Yeah, so that will be the first line. For mine, it's um, 18 inches, so I'm going to draw that now. Okay, so since it's an off shoulder, we don't need to start from one. So in this case, the best part of my neck, which is supposed to be this part on on my bust, I want it to be seven. So I'm going to be leaving half inch allowance there. I don't always like this name, so I'm going to cut that out. So yeah, so we have that to my half length, which is 18. Should be having another half inch allowance here. I'm going to be using the um the line on the material there as my allowance line. The next thing will be to check the highest measurement so that we don't waste our material. So for this folding, I'm going to check what is going to be proper and how will I calculate that. I'm going to be calculating my bust. My bust is. 14 uh, divided by 4 equals to 10. My waist is 32.5 divided by 4. I'm having 4 is equals to 8.5. One, two, five, about, about um, eight and a quarter, or something like that. Okay, so um, now to determine the weight, I'm going to determine how many inches I want for this allowance. And so personally, I don't want it to be too full, so I'm just going to be adding, say, about four and a half inches, 4.5, should be giving me. Twelve point six, twelve point six two five, which is about twelve and three quarter on my machine. I'm sorry, on the tape rather. Then my boss is going to be plus two inches. Two inches. It's going to give me twelve inches. So I know that I'm going to be folding with this because this is bigger. Out of all the two measurements, this is the biggest one because I'll be put on the waist. So I'll be folding the material with 12 and um, 3 quarter. Right, let's do that. So let us cross check if this is still okay because I have not checked it. So we should adjust it a little bit. So this is, I'm going to mark 13. There. I'm going to fold. The next thing would be to put our front with measurement. That is the measurement from this point to this point. So my front with measurement is 13, 13 inches for the front with sleeve with eight and a half. My back weight is, is 13. Okay, so I'm going to be looking our front weight. So my front weight divided by 2 plus half inch. This is what we have here. We have 7 and 1 quarter is my front weight. So from the further part to this part, I mark my front weight. The next thing I'll be doing is to mark my armhole. I remember that 
This arm my tail is on six and a half. Or we'll say six since I'm gonna cut off the top part there. So we'll say six and I use um eight for my arm oh so I'm just gonna draw that all the way out. Okay, so off camera, what I did was my bust measurement from the folder is packed to the ammo. Do you see the ammo giving like an L shape here? Yes, then I also did my bust measurement. This is supposed to be my shoulder to the bust point, this point here. So from on that line, my bust measurement, this is, this is it. Then the waist measurement, which is 12 and 3 quarter, this is it because of the pleat. So, the next thing we would want to do is to come back to this area. We're going to be um, determining how the neck is going to look. And I'm going to make that illusion space there where I'm going to put the neck there. So, I'll do that off camera and then I'm going to show you how it looks. Okay, so first of all, I, I, I say... Never use marker to mark on your material. Never ever do this. For like, like all my all the virus I was using, they were just like messing me up, so that's why I do this. So never use marker. Hmm? <laughs> Don't say I've got that touch. I repeat. Don't use marker. Alright, so I don't want the I don't want the initial neck to be too much because like it's my first time I've wearing this. So I don't want it to be too much. I use one and a half here. Then the zip is seven and a half. So by the time I sew this in, I'll be having eight inches here. And this still remains my front width line. So I didn't really use any measurement to get. Alright, so this is all. We don't need to have any darts. We don't need to do any of those things. I'm just gonna pleat these the way I want it to be. I own it down. Then I'm gonna have a foam, um, a ready-made bra, bra cup sort of thing on to line it. This is what I'm talking about. Something like this. I'm gonna have it on the lining, just, just something like this. This is not lining I'm using, but this is how it's gonna look. So that would be all for the top part. Um. Okay, any questions? There'll be net here. I'm going to replace this part with net. So let me draw this one out. I want, I don't want it to be too deep. So I'm just going to draw this part straight. I want it net to be straight up there. It's going to come down all the way. True. Okay, so off camera, I've already made some markings. So remember, we use six here, so I still use the same six, and the deepness of the neck at the back is going to be nine inches. And also, don't always remember to measure your back length because the back length and the front half length may be different. So I found that out, so I measured that. I mine is 15, I marked that here, and I still marked the side seam of the front here also so we're just going to slant it i'm going to remove the front and slant it together and then i've also drawn the armhole of the back and from this point because the back and the front the front is the same so from there i'm also going to carve into this part as the neck of the back so i didn't add any extra um I didn't increase the folding or highest measurement folding because I don't want the dart at the back. I want this pattern to just come out looking beautiful, commercial, proper. <laughs> so yeah, so I want those things to align at the back. So that is why I do not want um, to cut a dart there. I didn't want to, there was there was a way to do it, but personally, I just want to leave it like that. Okay, so this is the front piece again. This is where I'm going to be putting my net. I've not cut the net part of it, but this would be the net part of it. And then, always remember that your waist is not straight. That is why when you sew, sometimes you have folds here and it does not look good. So, you always measure from your arm all to the waist. So, I always like to tie like a rope or a bead on a 
because it must waste. So I know that, okay, this is the waistline. I'll tie something there. So I know this is the waistline. So I measure everything to stop at that line. So you should also do this too. Yeah. So if you look at my waist here, you see that it's a bit slanted. So the front is kind of um, deeper down the side. Then this is my back. This is the back piece. <clears throat> this is the side seam. This is the side seam, and it's the same length with the front side seam. But you see the back, the back waist here towards the middle, it's a bit higher. So there's also that slant there. So you, you should take your measurements properly to avoid folding. I'm going to show you the feet of this clothing when I'm done because I hear a lot of people saying, Oh, why don't you like to put a dart at your back? We're going to see how this looks good even without a dart at the back. Booyah. All right. This is the final look, and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to do this without having a pattern. I couldn't go with the whole um, illusion thing, so I still had to use hands to sew in another material there so that my bust does not show. I would like to see your own of this, so please follow me, subscribe. I'm on Instagram, Mr. Mars. See you some other time. Love you, real entrepreneurs.